chestnuts. Oh, we actually have something. I was expecting this to be like two lines. Destiny 2 update 7.2.0.5 activities, Iron Banner. Players, now I have a chance to earn Iron Banner Ingrams at the end of every Iron Banner match. Winds have a higher drop chance. Trials of Osiris slightly tuned the spawning zones for burnout. Competitive, the Vermilion Defender Emblems can now be re reacquired from collections. Now, for those wondering what the spawning zones for burnout, I think specifically we were getting spawned like looking into the wall. Even if you just like faces like inside or out, you know, just so it looks like we actually like spawned them would be okay. Now, Crucible, fix several out of bounds spots in the multiplex map. It's an issue in Disjunction where players could spawn under the map. Now, Raids and Dungeons, Crota's in. Crota's in loot has been modified to have a more balanced distribution of armor pieces. This change only affects armor. Weapon drops remain as before. This is the new loot pool per encounter. Abyss, Helmet, Gauntlets, Chest Armor, Overstone Throne Bridge, Gauntlets, Chest Armor, and Leg Armor. Iryut will be Chest Armor, Leg Armor, and Class Item. Crota, Son of Oryx, Leg Armor, Class Item, and Helmet. Keep in mind, the weapon layout is still the same. Idolin's ally can now be reacquired from collections with the correct purchase requirements. Fix the spools of Conquest Triumph to only require the player to find two hidden chests. There was never a third chest to find. Oh, wow. Interesting. Okay. So that, that never existed. Now, Nightfalls, highest battleground Mars. Reduce combatant count and frequency during some encounters and higher difficulty levels. I think... At this point, that's all right. Like, I know they're hard, but I think that's okay. I mean, considering how strong we are, I kind of like the feeling of being overwhelmed. And the Mars one really gave you that, especially like going into the, the second area, like in the area that used to be the social space. Like that was such an overwhelming area with the ad frequency that was spawning in. It was actually amazing. I don't want I don't want it to be too easy. Now, gameplay and investment armor fixing issue where Astrocyte Verse was applying the volatile debuff to unintended objects. Fix an issue. We're having too many perks active at the same time could kick players to orbit. Wow. Now, weapons. Fix an issue where shotguns had more damage fall off than intended when aiming down sights. So, so about that. Hold on. Let me back up on the shotgun thing. If you noticed at the beginning of the season, there were people coming out saying, my shotguns feel like they're just not getting the one-shot kill. Something was going on. I think it had to do with the, uh, the, the zoom and range changes from the beginning of the season. Anyways, it should be fixed now. They should be killing. I think what, what base... For most precision, it's around like six and a half, seven meters, somewhere around there. So we definitely need to take a look at shotguns and just see where things are. I still believe that at the end of the day, precision shotguns are still the best archetype of shotguns in the game. Now, fix an issue where special ammo can be generated by swapping weapons very quickly. Fix an issue where Necrochasm's Curse Thrall arc explosions dealt less damage than intended to combats. Okay, so Necrochasm actually got like a buff today if the, if it was actually dealing less damage. We need to take a look at that. Now, updated updated the Necrochasm Catalyst description to reflect the requirements needed. The Catalyst unlocks after obtaining 35 es essences of the Oversoul. No combatant defeats needed. Now, I will say, yes, before last week, Essence of Oversoul was terrible as far as drop rates go. But I am being told that if you beat the master mode version of Crota's End, you get like 25 essences of Oversoul. Is that right? Oh, okay. Okay, so it's a random drop that, that's, that those 25 essences will drop. The thing is, though, you you know, RNG-wise, you can have a crap load of essences just drop on you. One player got as much as 37 essences. What? My friend got 25 on normal Crota. Okay, so it doesn't have to be master. It could just be normal or master. You have a chance of getting, let's just say, 20 plus essences in one go, which could knock things out. Cross, don't you read the TWAB? I did. Was that in the TWAB last week? Okay, Garen provides two guaranteed essences of Oversoul. You still earn that additional guaranteed essence. Drop rate of ran... Okay, we are also increasing the drop rate of random essence of Oversoul for repeated clears of each encounter. Finally, we added the chance to strike it lucky. Ah, and earn all essence necessary to complete both the Necrochasm quest and the Catalyst when taking Crota down during a full run. Just like getting the exotic to drop in previous raids, you can now get the whole deal. Fortune smiles. All right, moving on, moving on. Abilities, Strand Warlocks, Weave Walk. While the player is in Weave Walk, Arc Soul and No Time to Explain drones deal reduced damage. Bungie, I cannot express how unfun you can be at times. No one, and I mean hardly no one, was using 
that combination. But even for the people that were using it, it wasn't like some meta defining thing. I mean, it wasn't just crazy. I don't think anyone jumped on and was like, oh my God, the weave walk no time to explain combo is so overwhelmingly disgusting. What, y'all thought this was good? You think this is a good change? I didn't realize we had so many people in here that uh, rejected fun and good times. Now, any perch threatening deployed while the player is in weave walk will deal reduced damage. What? Players can no longer dunk the spark while in weave walk. While carrying the spark, the damage resistance provided by weave walk is reduced. Okay, yes, you could, you could literally just win rift games outright. Pick the spark, weave, or, or maybe we pick the spark up, one or the other but you could just literally just go into enemy territory and duck. I don't think anyone was that crazy about Rift to begin with. All right, artifact, there's an issue where Monochromatic Maestro was not working with Strand. Wow, we literally have a video going out on this. Fix an issue where Elemental Munitions was granting more special and heavy ammo than attendant in combination with Rolling Maelstrom Strand Hunter Aspect. Now, bounties and pursuits, fix an issue where the high energy Crucible bounty did not progress on energy weapon kills. Fix an issue where the description of the Ritual Violence Seasonal Challenge was asking for Gabbana kills from Season of the Witch activities instead of Ritual Playlists. Now, UI and UX, fix an issue where the feature quest tile had higher cursor friction than attendant. The description of Sam and Inspire now properly reflects its two difficulty options. In general, the Season Pass will now properly reflect past ownership state for the Rank 71 reward. The Dance Off emote now correctly reflects its additional effects when viewed in Eververse. All right, guys, that is your patch notes. We're going to also jump inside of Destiny and see what the Adept reward is for this week and the Nightfall. All right, guys, this is the Nightfall reward for this week. A sexy precision frame bow. Oh, oh it, it's got the origin trait wild card, which I really, really like. I think this, oh, precision instrument is also on this thing. Oh, man. Again, weapon hits grant a stack of precision instrument for 1.25 seconds. 2.1 so it's longer on bows 2.1 seconds on bows maximum of six stacks interesting so at max stacks it can reach up to 25 percent damage you could do like an archer's tempo precision instrument combo now my question to you guys would you rather go explosive head or precision instrument i will say for archer's tempo combination with precision i mean those things kind of go hand in hand together you know but in pve this looks like it could be a very solid bow guys you know, Strident Whistle is one of my most used bows in the game, and I just use it with Incandescent. It's like a, just a good rolled Archer's Tempo Incandescent bow. I would be completely happy with that. Like, really, that's a fantastic combination there. And then you can slap on Adept Perks and stuff. Let's see what the, the actual Nightfall is this week. Oh, is it the Mars? That's why they upgraded Mars. All right, guys, is this Mars the Battleground? The one right. that we were just Thank talking you. about in the patch notes, which I know that makes sense, but that's... That is the nightfall for this week. With them toning down the difficulty of this of this nightfall, though, guys, it should be fairly easy to get through. But I kind of, I mean, I actually loved how overwhelmed you can get in this one. Please check the store. In the store this week, we have some shaders. Oh, oh okay, okay, okay. What is this? Oh, for eyes of tomorrow. Oh, oh, okay. All right. Oh, actually, this is a fantastic ornament for Crimson. Guys, get this ornament. One thing that's really good about this ornament is that the other ornaments, when you shoot, once you once you reach like max rate of fire with it, for certain field of views, I think they may have fixed it though, but before a certain field of views would get blocked. The reticle would actually get blocked by the gun model. This one we liked a lot because it's such a clean sight that no matter how fast you shoot the weapon or what field of view you're playing at, it doesn't block. Outside of that, we have a sparrow, a ship, a ghost, some shaders. Okay. All right. That's actually not bad. All right, guys. That's Eververse this week. Slap that like button like your mama told you right.